Hello everyone. Okay, let's continue by creating the bottom part of the air filter container. Let's dive in. Bring up the gizmo again and choose Polycube from the gear menu. Press Unify and then Delete Loops. Unmask the bottom face and move it up slightly. Hold Control and move with the gizmo to extrude. Scale it along the x-axis and then clear the mask. Now we can snap it to the side and scale it down. Select Inset Flat Island. Next we use the Slice Curve brush to add some edge loops. Then slide the back edge over. Slide the point over a bit and press Ctrl W to group visible. Alt tag the three faces and Q mesh them up. Let's go ahead and unmask the polys and adjust their height and position. Grab the move brush to tweak the points positions. Now we can unmask the two polys and extrude them with the gizmo. Add in an edge loop and use the Move Infinite Depth Brush to adjust it. Let's go ahead and add in an edge loop and adjust the points. Now we can collapse the edges at the top. Next, alt tag the two polys and transpose them. When you're ready, set up your creasing with the Z Mahler brush. Alt tag the two polys again, transpose them. And add in an edge loop for the corner instead of creasing it. Let's go ahead and increase the smooth subdivisions to five this time. Set the Dynamesh Utility Blur to 0, the Poly Count to 1 million, and turn on Use Auto Scaler. Grab the Clip Curve Brush to cut out a small section and use the picker to set the Dynamess resolution. Let's perform another clip and control drag on the canvas to Dynamesh. Go ahead and use the mask curve brush to set up the masking.
Now we can use the move brush to push it inwards. The key here is getting the brush size just right. Let's go ahead and smooth out the border. Now we can clear the mask and then smooth out the border again. Set up the masking again with the mask curve brush. Then blur the mask and use the gizmo to scale it flat. Now we can move it downwards. Clear the mask and then grab the move brush. A really quick tip, there are different hotkeys that can change how the move brush works. The default function moves the geometry around. Holding shift slides the geometry along the surface and alt moves it along its normals. All right, let's get rolling with creating the 3D cylinder. Bring up the gizmo and select Cylinder 3D from the gear menu. Scale it along the Z-axis and hit Group by Normals. Now grab the 14 sides IMM. We need to clean it up a bit, so let's delete those extra edge loops. Unmask the polys using the mask lasso and extrude them with the gizmo. Scale it in the x-axis a bit. Alt tag the back polys and Q-mesh them out. You can use masking and the gizmo to modify the thickness. Let's insert a couple of edge loops. And then alt tag the middle polys. As you're cue meshing, press shift to switch to a move operation. Now choose transpose polygroup island and hold control to extrude. Scale down the polygroup island. Now we can press control and move with the gizmo to extrude it out. Snap to the side view and make sure it's a tad lower than the top. Then extrude it upwards and scale it to bevel. Let's go ahead and press QC50 and refine the creases with the Z-Mahler brush. Q-mesh the poly loop while holding the shift key. This will bulk up the middle cylinder.
Now we can scale the poly group island and increase the poly loop. Go ahead and set the crease level to three. Press Ctrl W to group visible. Then select transpose single poly and alt tag these faces. We want to press control and move to extrude, then clear the mask and hit QC50. Now we can crease this edge loop to help with the tension. Add an edge loop right down the middle using the insert multiple edge loops. I'll tag these two polys and Q mesh them out. Take the move infinite depth brush and make some modifications. Then hit QC50 and adjust the creasing. Press Ctrl W to group visible. Then switch to align to straighten out the edges. Slide the two edges back to control the shape. Now we can add in an edge loop and Q mesh the four polys. Go ahead and grab the Move Infinite Depth Brush to make some tweaks. Add in a supporting loop and press QC50. Now we can make some creasing adjustments. Let's choose Insert Multiple Edge Loops to quad it up. Pop in a few edge loops and then increase them. Set the polygon action to inset, target the flat island, and modifier to standard. We want to remove the poles from touching any creases and give it a bevel. Uncrease the inner targets and crease the outer ones. Let's do one more adjustment using the Move Infinite Depth Brush. We kind of want to lessen the falloff on this cylinder. <laughs> 